Hey, I saw this post on Chief Talk about this house right here with this like two layer roof and a person was wondering how to create this roof and it's rather simple. So I thought I'd do a quick video and help her out and see what happens. Okay, so here's how I'd go about this. I, I just did a little schematic plan here that may or may not even be what you're doing, but um, there's a second floor. There's the first floor. You can hit the F9 key and see the floors above. So I've got the second floor cantilevered out. And uh, if you look at this right now, um, oh, it's kind of a mess. Because I had a roof on it, I'm going to get rid of these attic walls. There we go. That's a little more like it. So just a box, okay? And uh, I think I'll tile these so we can see them. And uh, you can see what, what happens here. So here's the first floor plan. And I would actually start on the second floor. Hit your Q key to draw a roof. And just so you know, I have this roof set up to be 612. 12 inch overhang. And, um, and it, it's raising it a little bit off the uh, plate. Um, but uh, you don't have to do that. And I just click and draw and pull it up and I'm going to put it to the center right there. Same on this side and just con connect those. Then you, if you click this edge, I don't know if you know this, it brings up a dimension. You can hit minus 12 and it'll just, um, and then you can snap this side here. Same over here. You can go minus 12. It'll move it past the gable end. And so there you have it over here on this side. You can see the roof. And you're thinking, yeah, but it, it needs to come down. Yeah, it does. So over here on the floor plan, I'm going to explode this here. Let's hit the uh, F9 key. And you can see the lower level floor here. And here's your roof. I'm going to actually change the object properties on this. Uh, make it a blue and maybe make it like 40 or something and solid lines. Oops. Click OK. There we go. Turn my line weights on so you can see. So you can click on this roof and then use your three key, number three, and break it right there and then pull this down. You can pull it right to there and then just click on it, hit your tab, and you're going to move it in the Y direction, minus 12. And over here, um, just do the same. Click it till it hits the wall. Then pull it, hit the tab key, go 12 in the X. And there you go. Now, if you look at this, that's kind of what you were trying to do. Now we got this roof. For that roof, um, we are going to go down to the first floor. And again, hit your Q key, click along the wall, and drag until it hits your wall above right there. Then click it and just snap it to there and click it and snap it over here to your garage or whatever that is. And then we take a look and there you have it. Now, I think your picture showed windows up here, so you're thinking, well, that's not perfect. Well, all you have to do is, even in 3D, you can just click on this roof plane, open up Transform Replicate, which is right here. No, that's multiple copy. I got hotkeys, so I always forget where this stuff is. Here it is. This right here. Click that. Move. And you're going to move it in the Z delta, which is vertical. And let's just move it, say, I don't know, 16 inches. And then you can click right here in 3D. Click this roof and you'll get the blue dot right there. Hit your 2 key and click this roof and it will join them back together. And then you have some room here for windows. Not really, but if you open your windows and you make a fixed glass, say, and you make it... 
yeah, 36. Or let's just make this a triple casement and make it 96 by 16. And let's take the lights out all together here or just change them. There you go. And then just click here and click there. There's your window. Not the most exciting looking window here. Let's make it a little taller, say 20. And see, it's it's at the default height. So you now I'm above your ceiling, so that's not good. But uh, you get the picture here. Um, you can even change here in the 3D. You can change the pitch. So let's just say we do this. We say in this roof, say we lock the ridge and change the pitch to four. Okay. And then back here, we do the same. We lock the ridge and we change it to four. And then we take this roof and open up transform replicate and move it down minus 12. And um, then what we do here is we open this roof and we lock the fascia height and change it to four. There you go. And now you have more room for the windows. And so you could make it a little bigger and pull it down. And now it's in the it's in the room and you can see in there. It's below your ceiling. Oh, look at these lovely windows. Let's change all these to um, single hungs. Click OK. There you go. Anyway, that is how you manipulate roofs to get what you're trying to do. Um, I mean, you can even have different pitches. So you could open up this roof here and lock the ridge again and change this to say eight and you'd get something that looks like this which would not be very good so you could open it again lock the ridge change it to six and there you have it so um i hope that helps it's just a quick video on how to manipulate roofs and um, um it's it's simple if you know what you're doing, I guess. And um, <clears throat> I did notice in your picture, too, that this roof comes around on this wall. So here you have this roof over here on the floor plan. You just hit your three key right here at the wall and just pull the roof over. And there you go. You can see it in 3D right there. So I hope that helps. Quick video. Thanks.